This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Titan. It is a 2015 Nissan Titan, 5.6 liter V8, four wheel drive. It's the extremely rare Pro 4X package, four by package. Um, it has 65,882 actual miles. It was a uh, Capital One auto finance lease return that we purchased in Phoenix. I personally went up to uh, see a volleyball game in Chandler with my daughter, had her drive me up there, and I drove it back from uh, Chandler, about 100 miles. Ran and drove great. Definitely needed tires, so we put brand new tires on it. Um, has, uh, has very low miles. My guys do an inspection, we inspected it, nothing really going on here. Um, they write, great truck, uh, rear pro four by uh, low miles, good Carfax, which I'll show you in a second. Um, we put new tires on it. We repaired the driver's seat cushion. I think there was a tear in it. And uh, detail. The only thing I noticed about driving it is sometimes the, the uh, volume uh, knob on the radio itself likes to hang up. So you got to use the volume control on the steering wheel. Other than that, <laughs> I mean, like, I, you know, that's the worst problem you're going to have. And you're, you're good to go for a long time. <coughs> um, obviously brand new tires it has, has a little push-in bump right here there's a little metal brace behind it usually we can heat it up and pop those out but you can't on this one because uh, there's a little metal brace there that we can't get behind um, that's pretty much I think there's a little ding in the rear bumper but cosmetically this thing's really pretty uh, I'm gonna walk around it I'm gonna show you what's wrong not what's right if there's something wrong I'm going to point at it or I'm gonna demonstrate it uh, I'll show you in the drive when, when we drive this thing. Uh, the point of these videos is not to tell you what you want to hear. Okay, it's to tell you what's really going on. Okay, um, we don't BS. If there's something wrong and we know it, we will tell you. Uh, we'll tell you what's happening. We'll show you the inspection in our ad. Um, we'll uh, show you the car facts. Um, we are an open book. It's really easy to sell vehicles as long as you sell them correctly. Um, because we're an internet business, 800 to 1,000 people a day will see this truck online, so there's no need to BS. We can uh, find the right person for this truck. See, there's, this is the other one. A little ding right here, okay? Um, I think I saw there's a little dent right here and a ding right here. Anyway, it's, uh, it's my job to really make sure that people know what they're doing and that, uh, that there's no uh, hyping, overhyping, and that we just stick to the facts. So that's what I do. And it works out just great. Boom. Oh, it's got the locks on. Dang it. There's a little storage thing in here. Kind of cool. There's a little touch up here and here. A little bit on the door edge. Oh, and there's one right here on the molding. I mean, I'm... Like I said, it's my job to like pick out the stuff, and it doesn't really matter if it's big or small. If I know about it, you're gonna know. So, there, sixty-six thousand eleven miles. So it had sixty-five eight. I drove it back from Phoenix, and now it's here. So that's where the extra hundred miles comes from. best motors Nissan ever came up with which is why they keep rolling with it window up and down door locks here's the uh, Kelly blue book for the truck with a pro 4x 4x uh, 
65,980 miles. It's actually just over 66 now. Um, typical listing price would be 29,311. Obviously, extremely old miles uh, help that. Uh, here's the Carfax. History and events affecting this vehicle's value. They blend the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book and they come up with 28920 is their retail value of this truck. There's the VIN. No accidents or damage reported. Um, this is the most important part. Uh, no title problems. Okay. Let's see. Boring Carfax. This is good. Casa Grand, Arizona, nice and warm. Brake Masters and made it to Tucson at 64,000 miles for brakes. Had a lot of brake work done. Rotors, oil change, air filter. That's 64.5. And then they sold it to us. 65,882. Okay. So that's that. You got the, this is like, Pro X type of seat, I guess. Pro 4x seat. There's a uh, manual, unused trailer stuff, which is nice to have. And the fact that they haven't used it is nice also, right? truck really nice truck make sure there's nothing hiding under here no you got some AC vents this is not rear AC bad dealers will tell you it's got rear AC it's just got vents and it does have AC coming out of the vents and it's cold but there's a plug an outlet but yeah they like to and this is probably not yeah it's not a DVD player they you can put one in factory if you want when you buy the vehicle they offer that to you for like 2500 which is stupid you can go to your local audio place audio video place for cars and knock that out for half that at the most which is why I think people are a little more informed now and don't do that all right, all right window window Window, window, mirror, out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Let's see, door locks. There you go. Power seat forward, back, up, down. Let's see, seat back forward and back you also have lumbar support lumbar support see it's going out and back that works fine you got tilt wheel there you go I'm doing a little two-handed thing there so that's your tilt wheel up and back you got adjustable pedals up and down this is uh turns off your parking sensors okay which with the camper shell I think you should keep on well you have a backup camera Air conditioning, it's still gonna be 95 in Tucson today. Saw Trump yesterday, the rally. Some of you might hate that, some of you might like it. I'm not really concerned with if you hate it or not. Uh, there we are, we're in Tucson, obviously. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh yeah, so see this, when you turn it, it likes to hang up. I'm not really sure why, it's obviously this knob, but you've got this. Radio. So you got that, right? That's CD 
player, navigation, map, camera, show guidelines, I guess that. Uh, map, all right. So you put it in reverse. There's your backup camera. I don't know if we're gonna be close enough to the building to make, there you go. There's your parking sensors, all right? Put it in neutral. Got a push to go down to four low. Now we're in four low. The uh, slip control, traction control goes off in four low. That's why that comes on, BDC off. There's your, so that's four low. Drive in reverse. Now we go to four high. BDC comes back on. Drive. And reverse in four high. Backup camera, neutral, two-wheel drive. Let me get the gate opening here. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Boom, boom. turn signals. Let's see, headlights. Of course, you can't see that, but you can see the dash change. Uh, windshield wipers. We got cruise control. Right here, cruise is on and off. And it works fine, I used it. All right, let's go for a ride. God, I wish it would cool off though. It's supposed to be like 75 for the high next week. It's 95 right now. It's time. Anyway, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay the following. You're going to pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state, all you pay is agreed upon price, so no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, you'll have the truck shipped to you. Once the uh, truck shows up on your shipper, you already have the title in the mail. Before your shipper shows up, you'll take the title in the truck to motor vehicles and get plate. It's very simple. Um, if you need help with shipping, let me know early in the uh, transaction. I can do it for you, I can give you phone numbers, uh, or you can do it for your, by yourself. We have a, several of our buyers who are on multiple vehicles and they are experts on doing it. They don't need me, all right? And you might be one of those people who knows how to do this. If you do, that's great. Um, if you need help, let me know early. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have the deposit, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I say it every single time. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have salesmen to pay. We don't have a fancy location with fountains and the mall next door. We have razor wire. We have night vision cameras. We have cops that are all over the place in our neighborhood. Uh, and we have meth heads that, you know, kind of wander around aimlessly. Um, you don't have to pay much for that property. Um, <laughs> They also, at the, at the auto mall, they have a latte machine and they have scones served by an attendant and they have all that stuff, the salesman, the scones, the location, the bottled water, the whole bit, uh, they have to pay for by selling vehicles for more money to you, all right? They also know at the auto mall that if something breaks on this vehicle, if they were to sell this truck to you and something breaks, they would have to fix it. So they charge you $500 to $700 more per car just for future repairs, even though most of the time they don't need it right? Almost all the time they don't need it, uh, especially in a truck like this. But they do because they don't want to pay for it. They want you to pay for the future repairs. <laughs> uh, well, we're not going to fix your truck. We give you this video. We give you the Carfax. We give you the straight scoop so you can be the owner uh, on day one and know what you're buying, okay? Uh, we also don't charge you for all that crap, the scones and the attendance and the bottled water and the salesman and the location and the blah and the, and the future repairs. So, you're saving thousands of dollars buying from us. That money will go in to repair whatever's wrong with this truck, which honestly is nothing, okay? <laughs> if you change the fluid and the filters and don't put it into a lake or into a semi, um, this thing will run for a long time, like at least another 100,000 miles, just fine. Take care of it. Um, it's a nice truck, okay? Uh, but we like people to know exactly how we operate so that there's no drama. There's a reason our prices are low. And uh, our, they're low so that uh, we can move vehicles. We get really full. Right, right now we're really full. So my brother will keep the, uh, the um, 
prices down so that we can move some vehicles. We got some huge trucks in here. We got this gigantic dually in here. We got this lifted F-350. We got cars over here, cars over here. We're just packed. So we don't have space to be holding vehicles, trying to make as much money as we possibly can. I got this thing in the way. I got that dually in the way. It's just a, it's a lot. So take advantage of that fact because uh, there's also times when we have 15 cars out here because we sell 10 in one day and then we don't have to worry about uh, space. So anyway, this is a beautiful truck. Really, really pretty. Really, really good running. Um, the only issue it has, like I said, is this. For some reason, it's... I don't know, you can probably take this off and fix it, but we're not gonna touch it because we don't wanna mess with it. You could do it off of like here. Came with unlimited tech support. Right. When you choose the menu. So, you can change the sources from here. All that, so. Boom, 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 like that. Anyway, beautiful truck. Thank you for your time.